Let's talk about drive belts. Now, what does a drive belt do? Well, it goes on the front of the engine and it wraps around the alternator, the water pump, the power steering, and the air compressor. But some cars don't have power steering or a belt-driven water pump. So this may only go to an alternator and an air compressor. And in some cases, only an alternator. But how do you read a belt? Well, the numbers that are on it. So if you look at this, this is a 6PK1432. That is six ribs. PK is the design of the rib and 1432 is its total length. Now overall, why do you replace belts? Well, usually it's because you look at them and if they're cracked or damaged, you would, you'd want to replace them. But I mean, you can still see this one and it looks like it's in pretty good shape for the most part. Now with used belts, we always put an arrow on it to designate the direction it's going. So we put it on the same way and that way the belt doesn't fail down the road. But I want to show you something. This is a belt gauge. Now we can take this belt gauge and we can stick it in here. And you can see that it is nice and tight and it doesn't have any type of movement in it. The client's complaint on this car was a squeal. And the reason why is because this belt has worn out. And you can see this one, it's got movement in it because the actual ribs have worn down. Now because of that, if you didn't know you'd think that that wouldn't be the problem. Maybe you thought it was a pulley or something like that. But a bad belt can be measured with a gauge. And so, now you know all about belts.